I'm Lauren Fiskness. I'm a retired farmer from Osakis, Minnesota. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a neurological disease back in 2008. It was confirmed by three different specialists. And for 10 years, I went to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester for treatment. After that, I went to the Sanford Clinic in Fargo, North Dakota. But each time I went, they, they kept increasing my medication. That seemed to be the only thing they could do. So I was currently taking 15 tablets a day. The last time I went to my neurologist, she told me, well, we're going to have to increase the medication pretty soon. But, well, I was hesitant. I, I just said, no, let's go a little longer. So, okay, you, the patient has the final say. Parkinson's is a disease that bothers your digestive tract too. So I always had a hard time with that part of it. And it goes along with lose your voice. Gradually, I kept losing my voice. It got so weak that I couldn't hardly say two sentences before it was gone. Nothing I could do to clear it up. Wow. I, you know, I went to your mother's review all. And when you saw me coming in with a cane, barely walking, you offered to pray with me. And I always welcome prayers. <laughs> so you prayed, you prayed for, that the Lord would take away my Parkinson's symptoms, my disease. And well, I didn't feel anything immediately, but it wasn't 10 minutes away from the church sanctuary and the review all, that a voice came so clear in my head it said, you have to show faith. And I pondered that just for a few minutes and I knew what it meant. I have to start reducing my Parkinson medicine, which every doctor said, oh no, you can never do that. Well, I did it secretly. The first three days I reduced it from 15 capsules a day to 10 capsules a day. And I felt better immediately. So then I reduced it another to five capsules a day for a few days. Then I reduced it to one capsule a day. And each time I did it, I felt better. I knew I was on the right track here. And after that six weeks ago, now I stopped taking the medication completely and I haven't looked back since. All my Parkinson's symptoms have disappeared. Oh, wow. I, for 15 years almost, I haven't had any sense of smell, taste, or uh, just there are so many other symptoms that go with it. And after I, after you and I prayed together, it was, my voice was back. <laughs> Amen. My wife maybe isn't so happy about that, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's happy about it. <laughs> yeah. And I can sing, oh my, at church today, I just love singing those old songs. We sang that song, I'll Fly Away. And I thought to myself, boy, someday I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have an appointment with my neurologist in about two weeks. I can't wait to watch her eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a Gideon for many years, 22 years. And we just had a rally. And the guys down there, what's, what's going with you? You're standing straight and you're talking now. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. When I wake up in the morning and see a beautiful sunrise or a beautiful rain coming down, I say, thank you, Lord. I know you're in control Amen. and you're also in control of my life. Amen. I can reassure you I am totally healed. And you're off all medication? Off all Parkinson medication. And symptom free? Symptom free. The, the, they're gone. Yes, I, because I'm approaching my bonus years, <laughs> uh, I do take some heart medicine just to keep it things in control. Yeah. And I haven't changed that. And it, that very, works very well. Good. But it's not like taking 15 capsules a day for one <laughs> illness. I do not do that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you just want to don't give up on the Lord because you, He's there. Yeah. Whether you He seems distant from you right now, you never know when He's going to suddenly reveal a truth to you that gives you comfort and gives you hope. Amen.